and that is that there is a problem that I think we have to make sure doesn't occur. Because there are problems in our, in, in our um, free market that need to be addressed from time to time with regulation. I, I, I don't like excessive regulation. But I like modern, updated, streamlined regulation that encourages markets to work. I, I heard today about, I was, I was at a uh, diner sitting across from a, a woman and she said that her, uh, her daughter-in-law had had a stroke at a very young age, I think just in her uh, early 40s. And, uh, and, that the, uh, and, and she was insured and she'd been insured for a long time. And then after she had a stroke, they put her insurance rate way, way, way up. It's like, well, wait a second. The idea of insurance is to, to, to be there uh, in case you need it, and then if something happens, why they don't jack your rates up or drop your coverage. And, and so this idea of what's called a pre-existing condition or, or where someone gets sick and the insurance company wants to change the deal or drop you, that shouldn't be allowed. So I, for someone who's been continuously insured, has been paying their premiums, we're going to have to make sure the insurance companies can't say, oh, you got sick? We're dropping your coverage. Or, uh, you know, you have a serious chronic condition, we're going we're gonna to kick you off the books. Well, that, that, that certainly can't happen. And, uh, and, and so that's something that I, I think would have to be in, in, included in the way we, we tell our insurance companies, if you want to um, offer a fair product to the American people, you're going to have to make sure that you don't drop people or refuse coverage to those who've been continuously insured in the past. But those are the uh, those are the adjustments that I'd make in returning this program to the states. Thanks, Thank Jennifer. you very much, and we're going to turn it over to the audience now.